Well, good morning, Glue Troopers. Hope everybody's doing well. You may remember me talking just recently about this beautiful 116 scale biplane. And Nathan, the gentleman who's building it, I said, boy, that's just incredible. I asked him what kind of kit it was. He had the 3D printed guns. And apparently, although he's doing magnificent work, the kit isn't necessarily all that great. He sent me a rather lengthy email that I thought I would read to you. And it goes as thus. So this is a kit that I bought off of eBay, 1 16th scale wood and Britannia metal Newport 28 Eddie Rickenbacker World War I biplane fighter. They jokingly called it museum quality. It was not. The parts were cartoonishly overscaled, many inaccuracies, made up parts. So through extensive research and hundreds of pictures off of Google and some plans that I was able to get my hands on, I was able to get the actual real way the biplane was built and so basically the only thing I used from the kit was the laser cut wood ribs and bulkheads and the wood everything else was useless to me I scratched built the entire cockpit engine and many of the wood parts I've also scratched built in the tail section because that detail is just completely missing from the kit this is my second year working on this project. It is intense, lots of scratch building. I had to learn how to vacuum form. I even built my own vacuum form machine to make the cowling. There was no cowling included in the kit, so I had to make my own. The internal rigging is steel piano wire. The wood is real. I shellacked it to protect it when the model is done. Hopefully by November for the regional IMPS Craig Hewitt model contest, that we have every November, where I plan to reveal it to the world. So the left side of the model is completely exposed structure and the right side of the model will be fabric covered and painted. I'm going to cover the right side of the model with actual silk using nitrate dope to tighten the silk just the way they did the real planes. Essentially, I'm building a miniature version of the real thing. By the way, I know how to dope an aircraft because I build lots of stick and tissue models with tissue or silk and dope. So far today, this is the greatest model that I've ever built, my Opus Magnum, except when I start building the 1.8 scale SE5 that I just bought off of eBay. I figure that one will keep me busy well into my 50s. Well, that is an amazing project, Nathan. We are all super impressed, and we look forward to seeing more pictures as you progress and when it's done. So it makes me feel humble with my little styrene efforts. It's just truly amazing the dedication some model builders have. A great bunch of guys doing what really is art. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little look into Nathan's project and respect for his commitment and his skills. Take care of yourself, everybody. We'll talk at you later. And as always, model on.